What's good, Josh? It's Boy Ross back out again with another video. So, we got to talk about Matt Riddle being written off of TV from uh, the gruesome attack uh, from uh, Solo Sokoa um, last week on Monday Night Raw. There's a reason why they wrote him off TV. Um, there's been some speculations that he violated a, a drug policy. So, we're going to get right into that, man. Uh, appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel, man. You guys are amazing. Let's get right into this article by NoDQ.com. Once again, take this with a grain of salt. Not sure how true it is, but we're going to talk about it because it's been floating around on Twitter and on social media. Matt Riddle allegedly written off WWE television due to a failed drug test. As previously noted, an injury angle with Matt Riddle took place during the December 5th uh, 2022 edition of WWE Raw, which ended with Riddle being taken out of the arena on a stretcher. According to Cassidy Haynes of Bodyslam.net, sources told him that Riddle was suspended for a drug test failure during the summer, and that, and that's why uh, his match against Seth Rollins was postponed until Clash at the Castle. Haynes noted the following. I was able to confirm that the reason that WWE wrote Riddle off TV because he has failed another drug test and will be sent to rehab. The belief going around is that he has already entered treatment or will be going in soon as most programs run for 30 days and he would need to fin uh he would need to be finished in time for his return in 6 weeks. Haynes added that WWE no longer tests for marijuana and but didn't note what exactly caused the failed test. This is an interesting one. This is a, a, a very interesting one. I didn't even know originally that's what it was um, why they had originally uh, postponed the uh, the um, Seth Rollins Matt Riddle uh, match uh, earlier this year. I didn't know that's that what that's what the situation was and now we're hearing reports that he failed another drug test and they're putting him in rehab that's why they wrote him off tv um honestly if it's something that's not marijuana if they're not testing for marijuana now then it must be something a little bit more serious that they have to be like all right we gotta put you in rehab we gotta we gotta you know saying get you some help on this particular situation whatever the drug may be and hopefully he does get the help he needs because at the end of the day when it comes to being in the wrestling ring you gotta make sure you're aware of what's going on and you know you're you're alert you're attentive because at the end of the day it's really it's a dance a choreography of of moves and you gotta make sure you're doing what you you know what you're doing and aware of it or somebody can get injured or even worse um we've seen it especially way back in the day in the attitude era and beyond where people were like high on drugs during their matches high on all types of things i'm not gonna go exactly into it obviously i don't think the, uh youtube would be okay with me talking about certain things certain type of um, drugs but a lot of wrestlers were definitely on drugs pills they were you know drunk high out you know high as a kite you know and sometimes that caused a lot of issues and a lot of problems backstage and sometimes it can cause some issues within the ring and a lot of times wrestlers would do this to kind of just numb the pain from their body taking this punishment week in and week out so there's a multitude of factors and if something goes wrong somebody get hurt and it comes out that that person was under the influence of whatever it is then it, it the question becomes who's at fault here especially if wwe knows so i understand them being very strict and all right we gotta write you off tv you gotta get things sorted that riddle um me personally I'm, I'm 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 all for them doing what they gotta do to make sure he's good uh, for the betterment of himself and for the company as well um he has died down like his his I guess you could say his momentum has died down after the Seth Rollins feud. At one point, that was one of the hottest feuds <laughs> in WWE. Uh, the Seth Rollins, Matt Riddle, their back and forth. It definitely has died down for sure. Um, and right now, they kind of have him in this little mid-card limbo with Alpha Academy and the, the little corny jokes he be having with uh, Elias. It, it's kind of... 
it's, it, it's just like he's just there really he's just there to fill the the mid role the the mid card comedy spot i would like to see him in a more prominent role you know maybe going for a championship of sorts or maybe just more in a more serious role a serious view potentially when he comes back maybe they do something with him trying to get his revenge on solo sokoa i could possibly see that maybe that's a possibility maybe he he finds a way to get his hands on him because i mean he got to run the fade the dude did send him to the gulags but we know the gulags for him is rehab you know what i'm saying so comment down below let me know do you guys believe this article do you guys believe the the sources that are saying that it was potentially because of another failed drug test and also let me know down below what what drugs do you think he was doing that they was like you know what all right we gotta put you in rehab bro this is this is getting out of hand let me know because matt riddle just seems like the guy that smokes marijuana and that's about it but maybe he's doing something else who knows let me know down below what's your thoughts and opinions on this whole situation but i appreciate all the love and support you guys for showing on the channel road to 150k appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace